blood pressure cuff on your right arm. Janet Rutledge suffers from high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, and diabetes, all health conditions that require constant medical monitoring. I have all the equipment here and every morning at 8 o'clock, the little voice welcomes me. Good morning. It's time to take your stats. She runs through the equivalent of a physical every day. I step on the scale and it registers on my monitor. Then it tells me to put on a blood pressure cup and the, the oxygen thing. And I do that and then it registers and then I prick my finger for sugar and that registers. And the minute it's all done there, it goes instantly to health care. Janet's data is transmitted a few miles away to Lee Memorial Health System's telehealth office. If anything appears abnormal, they are quick to respond, first by phone, if needed, in person. The main goal is to keep patients in their home able to take care of their self and to become independent in their care. Right now, this service is available to patients with Medicare. The goal is to keep people with chronic conditions healthy and out of the hospital. That's gonna be the wave of the future because basically you've got somebody's eyes on these folks every single day. Data shows the remote monitoring is working. We have been able to reduce our uh, telehealth rehospitalization rate to 12%. The national rate for rehospitalization is currently now 26 percent. It also gives people like Janet peace of mind, knowing someone is always watching. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.